Life-saving antibiotics revolutionised our society and economy. Previously deadly diseases became routine illnesses requiring little more than a brief treatment. These achievements are now at risk, mainly because of the excessive or inappropriate use of antimicrobials. The multiplication of national, European and international initiatives against antimicrobial resistance AMR, over the last decade reflect a shared commitment to actively tackle this global health threat. However, bridging the gap between declarations and concrete actions is the underpinning challenge that policymakers have to address. Supported by the EU Health Programme, the European Joint Action on Antimicrobial Resistance and Healthcare Associated Infections, EU JAMRAI, has been a unique place gathering all key actors in the fight against AMR. EU JAMRAI brings together 44 partners from 26 member states organisations such as the ECDC, EFSA, OECD and WHO, and 45 stakeholders involved in the field. Among them representatives of the civil society, health professionals, patient associations, actors from the animal and environmental sectors and companies. Its mission is to foster synergies among EU member states and propose concrete steps to strengthen the implementation of efficient and evidence-based One Health policies to tackle AMR and reduce healthcare-associated infections. AMR, antimicrobial resistance, is, as I said, a priority for us in the Commission and it's an explicit priority within the health programme. Well, AMR is a global issue and it's a One Health issue. We need to all work together to tackle this problem together because solving it in one place will doesn't solve it in another place. EU JAMRAI has fostered synergies to keep antibiotics working, producing concrete recommendations and promoting awareness and commitment by governments and stakeholders. We cannot forget that the joint forces of policymakers, international organizations and stakeholders is paramount for success in the global battle against AMR. For three and a half years, EU JAMRAI partners have worked in key areas to effectively move forward down the road of antimicrobial resistance and healthcare-associated infections reduction. The role of the coordination team has been crucial orchestrating and supporting the different working areas. As coordinator, we had an umbrella role. We follow the progress of each task towards our final goals, uh, ensure that we are uh, respecting the UC rules and regulations, implement the appropriate strategies, being prepared for expected risk, and react on time to the unexpected ones. Monitor our work to make the necessary adjustments, uh, facilitate communication, ensure smooth management of and flow of information between the JAMRAI Consortium, the European Commission, CHAPEA and DG Santé. There are three more cross-sectoral working areas essential for the good performance of any project. EU JAMRAI progress and results have been presented at more than 60 AMR relevant events. Academic posters, abstracts and peer-reviewed journals have been accepted in several health congresses and published in recognised science journals. Results have also been disseminated through EU JAMRAI website, quarterly newsletters and different social media channels enhanced with the production of original contents like infographics and video interviews. Several actions need to be maintained beyond the three and a half year duration of EU JAMRAI to ensure the sustainability of its results. The overarching task of the sustainability team has been to foster the integration into national policies of the recommendations issued by the joint action and also to encourage all key actors to expand and sustain the implementation of EU JAMRA results at all levels, European level, national level, regional level and local level. During the design of the EU JAMRA integration and sustainability plan, we have used different tools such as workshops, meetings or survey to keep partners, stakeholders or member states engaged. Another important step 
has been the identification of the priority measures to be maintained beyond the EU jam rights end. We have also coordinated the production of different policy briefs to support advocacy efforts and ensure that our recommendations reach our target audiences. Evaluation and monitoring efforts have been conducted along the life of the EU jam right to verify that the project was being implemented as planned, reached its objectives and met the needs of the target groups. We are responsible for evaluating the uh, activities of the project of the EU JAMRAI and especially to um, assure that the project reaches the targets that have been planned in the due time and also the quality of these targets, helping also the other participants and the other groups to have uh, high quality outputs. EU JAMRAI has contributed to the bridge the gap between declarations and actions presenting concrete and operational actions with demonstrated potential to tackle AMR and reduce healthcare associated infections. The joint action has coordinated the self-assessment of EU national action plans and used country-to-country -country visits to facilitate best practices exchange between member states. The basis for a network of supervisory bodies in the human health sector has been established to facilitate collaboration between member states and next steps will be discussed within the AMR One Health Network. Several campaigns to raise awareness, including a contest to find the first antibiotic resistance symbol, have been implemented. The evaluation of their impact and all lessons learned have been included in a toolkit for awareness raising and behaviour change communication on AMR. In the field of surveillance, EU JAMRAI has developed the framework of a surveillance network to monitor AMR in diseased animals, EARS, VET. In human health, a near real-time surveillance system has been piloted in 17 institutions from 11 countries. In order to increase the prudent use of antibiotics, a repository with existing guidelines, tools and implementation methods for antibiotic stewardship in human health has been published. EU JAMRAI has also performed a qualitative study to identify enablers and barriers to stewardship implementation. In animal health, the Joint Action has conducted a survey to identify the core components needed for optimal implementation of antimicrobial stewardship in animals. To reduce healthcare-associated infections, EU JAMRAI has identified the gaps on implementation research and communication in the field. To contribute to fill these gaps, the Joint Action has published a list of infection control and prevention research priorities and piloted the implementation of guidelines and frameworks. Finally, in order to improve antibiotic access and innovation, EU JAMRAI research team has conducted in-depth interviews in 13 countries to understand the barriers and facilitators for incentives implementation. These are the, the very practical things that the Joint Action is doing. Um, so the sharing experience, the creation of tools and good practice to really enable uh, the take-up of that experience and the dissemination of the results and the working with partners including with organisations which are not originally part of the joint action but which want to help tackle antimicrobial resistance whether the pharmaceutical companies, nursing organisations doctors' organisations, students. We show it that working and acting together, we can prepare an ecosystem of key actors from different sectors with one shared admission, building a healthier European Union. The depth and richness of this joint action are attributable to our common commitment, insightful leadership and strength of our teamwork. That's the beauty of this joint action, and that's what guarantees its success. We have worked together on a project that will leave a lasting mark, thanks to concrete results and recommendations. EU JAMRAI results will enable countries to strengthen the implementation of efficient and evidence-based measures to tackle AMR for the benefit of EU member states and their citizens.